Have you ever wondered why some people seem to make friends so effortlessly while others struggle to connect? In a world where networking and relationships are increasingly important, the ability to build genuine and influential connections is invaluable. But what makes some people so captivating and others easily forgotten? Today, we'll dive into timeless secrets from Dale Carnegie's classic, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Written over 80 years ago, this book remains a bestseller because it taps into the core of human behavior. Carnegie's lessons help us understand what drives people, offering powerful insights into building meaningful and lasting bonds. And before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This way, you'll stay connected to more content that could transform the way you interact with others. Techniques in Handling People Chapter 1. Don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Criticism. It's easy to dish out, but rarely leads to positive results. Think about how many times you felt frustrated and wanted to point out someone else's flaws. Carnegie reminds us that direct criticism often puts people on the defensive, damaging both their self-esteem and the relationship. Take the example of the legendary pilot Bob Hoover, who faced a near disaster when a mechanic accidentally filled his plane with the wrong fuel. Rather than exploding in anger or condemning the mechanic, Hoover calmly explained the mistake and encouraged the mechanic to learn from it. Hoover's understanding approach not only preserved the relationship, but also strengthened the mechanic's dedication to doing better in the future. It's a powerful reminder that when someone makes a mistake, approaching them with empathy instead of criticism can build trust and even inspire loyalty. The next time you feel like criticizing, consider how understanding might achieve a better outcome. Chapter 2. Give Honest and Sincere Appreciation Everyone, deep down, desires to feel valued and appreciated. Carnegie believed that genuine acknowledgement motivates people far more than money or external rewards. Picture this. You're in a bustling cafe, and the barista behind the counter is juggling multiple orders with a smile. Instead of brushing off this effort, imagine expressing sincere appreciation with a simple comment. Thank you for handling everything so gracefully. I can see it's busy, but you're doing an amazing job. That moment of recognition can completely transform someone's day and might even inspire them to continue providing great service. This principle teaches us that when we make an effort to notice and acknowledge the good in others, no matter how small, we create positive, memorable interactions. Honest appreciation opens hearts and strengthens bonds. Chapter 3. Arouse in the other person an eager want. This principle is about shifting focus from your wants to what they desire. Carnegie explains that when we align our goals with others' interests, we pave the way for more cooperative relationships. Andrew Carnegie, for example, sparked interest in his nephews by writing letters that subtly encouraged them to respond without overtly stating his own wishes. By creating a curiosity and desire in them first, he inspired their natural willingness to engage. Whether you're working with a team or simply engaging in a conversation, think about how aligning your requests with others' motivations can make them far more open and responsive. This is a powerful tool for influence that works across all kinds of relationships. For ways to make people like you. Chapter 1. Show genuine interest in others. People are naturally drawn to those who take an interest in them. Carnegie compares this to the unconditional enthusiasm of a friendly dog, always eager to engage and welcome others warmly. When you meet someone, try to ask meaningful questions and show a genuine curiosity about their life, goals, or passions. This goes beyond small talk. It's about truly listening to someone's story. People can sense when someone is genuinely interested, and it often leads to a deeper and more lasting connection. Chapter 2 Smile A simple smile can be a transformative gesture, capable of shifting the tone of an interaction and making someone's day better. Carnegie tells the story of William B. Steinhardt, a grumpy stockbroker who decided to start smiling more as a personal experiment. This small change had a huge impact. 
clients responded more warmly, and soon his relationships flourished both personally and professionally. Next time you're in a tense situation, try smiling. It's a small gesture that can soften even the hardest of hearts and open up new doors. Chapter 3. Remember that a person's name is the sweetest sound. To someone, their own name is like music. Remembering it shows respect and genuine interest, creating an immediate connection. Imagine you're meeting someone new. Practice saying their name a few times in the conversation, as this helps with memory and makes them feel recognized. Small efforts like this can make all the difference in forming strong, positive impressions. Chapter 4. Be a Good Listener Carnegie emphasizes that being a good listener is one of the simplest yet most effective ways to connect. When we listen attentively, we make people feel valued. There's a story of Carnegie attending a dinner party where he hardly spoke, simply listening to a guest talk about his interests. By the end, the guest described Carnegie as a fantastic conversationalist, simply because Carnegie had let him share his thoughts. This shows that listening doesn't just show respect. It makes people feel heard, and that's a rare gift in today's fast-paced world. How to Influence People and Win Their Trust Chapter 1. Avoid Arguments Arguments rarely change anyone's mind. More often, they only reinforce opposing views. Carnegie suggests that instead of challenging someone directly, approach the conversation with an open mind. Consider the story of an interior decorator who overcharged a customer. Rather than starting a fight, the decorator took a step back and spoke with the customer calmly. The friendly conversation led to an understanding, and both sides left satisfied. Arguments tend to build walls, while respectful discussions create understanding and strengthen trust. Chapter 2. Begin in a friendly way. Starting with a friendly tone can diffuse tension in any conversation. Imagine a tenant who wanted to negotiate a rent increase with his landlord. By approaching the discussion with friendliness and respect, the tenant turned what could have been a tense interaction into a collaborative dialogue. This principle reminds us that kindness can shift the energy in any conversation and lead to better outcomes. Chapter 3. Respect the other person's opinions. When we say, you're wrong, it's almost guaranteed to trigger a defensive reaction. Instead, respect their opinions and listen. For instance, if a friend has a different perspective, ask questions and show interest in their viewpoint instead of confronting them directly. This kind of respect for others' opinions often leads to greater understanding and openness on both sides. Changing people without resentment. Chapter 1. Start with praise and honest appreciation. Starting with praise helps people receive feedback more openly. Imagine if you need to give constructive feedback to a coworker who made a mistake. Begin with a compliment, acknowledging their hard work or positive attitude. By leading with genuine praise, you make the conversation feel supportive rather than critical. This principle encourages us to soften our approach to correction making it easier for others to grow without feeling attacked. Chapter 2. Give Indirect Criticism Direct criticism can feel harsh and discouraging. Instead, indirect feedback tends to be received with a more open mind. Rather than bluntly pointing out a mistake, try framing it as encouragement. You've done a fantastic job so far, and if you keep this level of attention to detail, you'll do even better. This approach makes the person feel recognized for their efforts while remaining open to improvement. Let's recap the main takeaways from how to win friends and influence people. Avoid criticism, show appreciation, take a genuine interest in others, be a good listener, avoid arguments, respect differing opinions, start with praise, and use indirect feedback. By applying even one of these principles in your interactions, you'll start to notice a positive shift in the way people respond to you. Try implementing one of these techniques in your next conversation and watch how it transforms your relationships. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on personal development. And remember Carnegie's wise words, you can make more friends in two months by being genuinely interested in others than in two years by trying to get others interested in you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.